Everyone, Siren here, and we got Gonzak and Yuna. Hey, what's up? What are we doing? Yep. Well, Mythic Hero time. <laughs> so, yep. let's do this. I really gotta figure out a way to, like, do this a little better, because you can see the name of the Mythic Hero, but let's fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> and you never get tired of that intro. Yep. No, no, I don't. I am neither Ooh. Nor beast, neither so angel, nor devil. this is cool, but her voice is so mature. Yeah, for her age. Yeah. Well, I, I know she's old, I guess, but you know she she doesn't look old. That's the point. Yeah. Wait, well, also, what? How old is she supposed to be? She's really old. She's oh, an actual dear. goddess. Also, I like Jane and Pat. Just... Yeah, that attack animation is really cool. So let's see who we got. Uh, okay, not bad. Uh, so neat. Okay. I, I like that. Oh, hey! Lewin, fuck yeah! <laughs> and Ophelia! Oh! What? <laughs> oh, sweet! Okay, some pretty oh. good heroes this time around. Yep. 8%? 8%? Yeah, that's how it usually it's is. It's always 8%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool, so, yeah, the goddess of chaos herself, Yune, has joined the team. I, th I think she's Astra? Is that the Astra symbol? Uh, we'll see in a second, let's see here. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm happy for this choice, because again, it's an actual goddess. Yeah, I think that's Astra symbol. Yeah. I actually like, like, the, I like the design of the character. Yeah, Yune was... It's kind of hard, because, like, the only time you actually see her design is either at the very end of the game, or when you find, like, promotional images. So, yeah. Mm. Let's check it out. Also, by the way, uh, that bird that you usually see with uh, with Makaya, that's her. <laughs> yep. She's a flyer green mage, right? Uh, is she? I did not actually see her class. Yes, flying green mage. Alright, so let's see. Chaos Manifest. It grants... Plus three resistance. If a penalty inflicted by a skill like panic or threaten and or a negative status effect preventing counterattacks or restriction movements is active on foe, grants plus six attack during mm -hmm. combat and makes and unit makes a guaranteed follow up attack. Okay. So I guess it goes both phases, right? Yeah. 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 There's no phase restriction. That's pretty good. Gla uh, Glaces, I'd probably give her iceberg to be honest. <laughs> mm. Attack Resbon, nice. Sabotage resistance. At the start of a turn, if any foe's resistance is less than or equal to unit's resistance out of three, and that foe is adjacent to another foe, inflicts resistance to that foe uh, for their next action. It's basically the Averis effect, and I think this is the second sabotage one we have. I, yeah. I think the first one was sabotage attack. Yeah, I think that was it too. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. And Chaos named her unique ability. At the start of a turn, if foes within three columns entered on units have a resistance less than or equal to units resistance out of three, inflict mm -hmm. minus five on the highest of that foe's attack, defense, or resistance and speed through their next action. When calculating the highest stat, uh, da 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 da. Okay, so pretty much it's like if your if the foe has a very strong stat, that stat gets nerfed hard. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, it looks like Yune is gonna be pretty much just a. She's a debuff god. <laughs> she's a debuff god who's also pretty much a res tank. I'm guessing. Yeah, like I can already tell she's. Probably gonna get one shotted with attack, like physical attack. Yeah. And she's probably not gonna have speed at all because she has that tone that uh, she's all, she's always gonna do two attacks if she has like a debuff on the end. I um I don't mind that. Like it, it, <laughs> I don't think you should be putting like res tanks in the front lines anyway. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. And that debuff is really nice. That like, is I, I don't fully cool. understand it. Like, the logic behind it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so okay. we got a few good units coming in this time around. Also, damn, what's with Halloween Myrrh? 
She's just coming out and out. She just and keeps out. coming out. It's pretty ridiculous. All right. Okay, Bob's here. Let's see. Okay, uh, Red has Colin Mary and yeah. has a Brainstorming Cat and, and Legendary Ryoma, Ryoma yeah. Eh. It's, it's pretty good, I must say. Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm getting tired of Legend of Halloween murder, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Iduna is like I think Iduna is a bit better than Halloween Mirror at this point. So yeah, I don't know if you should pull for her. Just yeah. a bit, yeah. Uh, let's see. Colorless has Brave Lynn. It has Air, and it has Halloween Mia. Which honestly, those are some pretty solid choices. Right. Wow. <laughs> Blue has Legendary Lucina, Ophelia, Kagura. Uh. Uh, Azura. No, Azura, right, right. Wow, I had a brain fart there. How dare you get the names wrong? Wow, Shame that, on you. Wow, that's pretty Honor. crazy. Uh, Blue has two legendary units. What the hell? And Ophelia, which is, yeah. like, the best. Maybe. Man, Blue, okay, Blue is really strong. That's crazy. Yeah. And, uh, Green has Yune, Luin, and Kagura. I don't know. I, I think Blue, by far, has the best. Oh, yeah, no. Like, Blue, Blue definitely and has then, the best units. And then green, I would say. Yeah. Wait, wait. So I'm confused of all the colors here. So we're just uh -huh. talking about the kind of co the colors you want to pull for in the banner. Like there's the ones you want to there's always there's always three colors per legendary banner, and you, you can only the, get those units, you know. So like, what what you should go for? Yeah. Oh, so is there a specific color that you should always get? That's like better than the others. From depending usually, on the depending on the heroes that are in the color, yeah. Usually, uh, it's what you personally want. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. usually, Sorry, some colors. <laughs> usually, some colors have like a better like range of heroes, not just one. Ah, mm. uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry for everyone watching. I'm a newbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm. I was kind of expecting. Uh, a Ashura, I think her name was. Maybe we can get her. You know, I'm glad that it's yeah. not another dragon, Mikko Hero. Yeah, that is true. That's a that's a nice touch that it's not another dragon. It's kind of I should have expected Yune, but I never did. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I I feel like I don't like the adult voice on the little kid. Yeah, that's <laughs> the one thing. Weird. I mean, it's a little better than her original voice actress. <laughs> I guess. But, like, yeah, it's a little bit weird. The poor Lance Knight is still no chance. Yeah. Also, she's one of the few uh, flyers that have, like, a special flying animation. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, definitely. Legendary Grima or, uh, who, who else? I, I guess, uh, Mia. Like, Halloween Mia. Because no, she has, like, a broom. I, I feel like somebody else had a flying... No, because Halloween Noe had a broom also. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I feel like there was someone else who flew, but just didn't, wasn't actually, like, on a mount flying. I can't remember who it was on top of You mean Brave Solica that looks like she's flying? But no, 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 not Brave Solica. Someone else. I okay. can't remember who it was. Oh, well. Yeah, like, it's pretty cool design, you know? Like, yeah, she has all this different animation compared to every other hero because, yeah. you know, it's totally new. I kind of want to pull for her just because of the animation, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty... Nice. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I feel out of place. I I only understand like a sixteenth of what you guys are saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I guess we'll get a Shara like later. Cause, Hopefully. Yeah, because like a Shara was kind of the big bad in Radiant Dawn. Well, she was definitely the final mm. boss, that's for sure. But still. <laughs> in any case, because she's an Astra, like. Yeah, just just because she's an Asper unit, if you care for Etherite, like you should probably pull for her. Oh, You're yeah. gonna have an easier time. Yeah, definitely. Cause like after that, after um, Yune, we only have like what one element left for Etherites. Yeah, we're missing right. Dark. I think Ooh, we're missing Darkness. Dark. Yeah. You know what? I'm guessing that's gonna be Fortonius, the uh, the Demon Lord from Sacred Stones. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take a guess, because besides uh, the dragons, he's the only other, like, godlike being in Fire Emblem that fits that description, to be honest. Yeah. Alright, so that was Legendary Unit. Uh, mythic Unit. Fuck. <laughs> Good job.
So that was Mystic Hero Yune. Uh, so let us know how you guys feel about the uh, about the hero. Tell us who you're gonna pull for. I'm either gonna go for Yune or gonna go for Blue because goddamn that blue setup. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What about you, guys? Yeah. I mean, red and colorless are kind of, like, they're good, but they're not blue and green, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they're not that good. Yeah, okay. And um, just for fun, I'll say Yune. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why? She's a because... good girl. <laughs> no, why? Because, because it's close to Yuna. <laughs> wow. It's just a letter. Is it Yuna or Yune? <laughs> It's you, Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you, you not is the summoner. You nay is this one. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you guys next time.